And this is why Allah says, those who see the punishment on the day of judgment, they will say, Oh, our Rabb, Oh, our Rabb, why don't you send us back so that we can do good deeds once again? Now we've seen. Allah says, what was the point? No point. You know, Iman means to believe, believing in the unseen. If you've seen it, what's the point? Allahu Akbar. If you have seen something, you don't want to call it Iman. Iman is belief. If you translate the word belief, it's connected to something within your heart. I believe you, which means I believe. For example, all of us here, subhanallah, when we listen to the Quran, we are absolutely convinced that it's the word of Allah revealed to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Jibreel alayhi salatu wa sallam came down with it. Convinced. If I ask you, did you see Jibreel alayhi salatu wa sallam? You'll say no. But I believe that belief is more concrete than me looking at you right now. This could actually be more fake than subhanallah, what we firmly believe regarding revelation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen our Iman. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless every one of us. So Allah says, وَأَنذِرِ النَّاسَ يَوْمَ يَأْتِيهِمُ الْعَذَابُ فَيَقُولُ الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا Warn the people regarding a day that the punishment will come and then the oppressors or the wrongdoers will say, رَبَّنَا أَخِّرْنَا إِلَىٰ أَجَلٍ قَرِيبٍ O our Rabb, grant us respite. Grant us respite to a short period of time, to a short appointed time, meaning just give us a little bit more time, O oh Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, no, that is not what is going to happen. When the fixed time comes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will punish. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not do that to us.